Hi everybody. So today I'm going to tell you all about my nail polish collection. I have to admit I feel really bad doing this video considering, as you can tell, my nail polishing has gotten a bit behind. So yeah, I definitely need to redo them. I plan on doing them later this afternoon, so I'll post that when we get there. So for right now, I'm going to go over my nail polish collection. Now, I don't have a rack like most of the beauty gurus do, but I have been looking for some sort of organizational rack display thing that doesn't take up a whole lot of space or even a wall space would be great. In the meantime, I am obsessed with these boxes. And if you grew up in the 80s, 90s, even the early 2000s, you know that this is a Caboodles box. And I have loved Caboodles boxes since they came out. This one in particular, I got a label maker and I put my name on it. Kind of cool. This one in particular, I just pop, undo, and open. To reveal my giant huge mess. I've never done this backwards, so you'll have to give me a break about it. But oh, there we go. So this is what it looks like open. The inside. And then this one in particular has a mirror with more space in it. So let me just put this up here so it doesn't try to squash me too bad. And we'll go from there. So the first thing I'm going to go through is the section with the lid has the mirror and this is one of the really cool boxes. I really like the fact that it has the mirror and now that I'm thinking about it I'll just show you here better. It's kind of heavy so this here is the top and I well okay this is the inside so you open it and then I open the lid and this is the mirror showing you a great view of my messy bookshelves up there and then it has the inside area so in this top part where the mirror opens maybe I should move my camera back that would probably be helpful I have all my little tools and now when I say tools what I'm talking about is my collection of nail and beauty tools. They have everything from my four step nail file here. It tells you step one, step two, step three, and step four. So you can see shine. We'll go back over here. So step one, it says file. Step two is smooth. Step three is buff, and step four is shine. I love these, and I actually got this one in particular from our Dollar Tree. And I bought a bunch of them. I have them all over the house. Also, oops, I'm dropping stuff. That's usually how that goes. Hang on just a second. Let me go dig for my stuff that I dropped. Although I will tell you, talking to you from under my desk is quite interesting. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? I'll put that down so I don't drop it again. And then I also have um, some more nail files. This is just a basic black one. Real simple. This one is the same thing. California Nails. I think this one came from the dollar store too, but I really don't remember. And then I have another one here that has two sides. It has the white side, the black side, and then the buffing side. And it's really cool. In here I've also got my um, little separator jobbers. So I have these. and. These ones are for fingernails. I don't have the ones for toes because I can't separate my toes due to my medical conditions. With um, my muscles constantly constricting, 
my toes don't come apart very well. So I just don't bother with that. I've also got the nail concealer. And just when you think you've got it all, they come out with something new. So this is a nail corrector. I'm sorry, I said concealer. Nail corrector. And this is very simple. I'm sure those of you that do a lot of your nails and stuff know how this works. But it's basically a nail polish remover in a pen. So you can run it across your nail and it cleans off your problem. It's actually kind of neat. I've also got my Avon Nail Experts Cuticle Gel Vitamin C. And this stuff is really simple. You just massage a little bit into your cuticle as needed. There's no certain time. It just whenever you think that your cuticles feel a little abnormal or really dry, definitely I recommend the cuticle gel. I've also got um, cuticle massage cream. This is a cream just like the vitamin C Avon one, only it's white. And then this one is the cuticle remover cream. And this is the one you use when you're getting ready to push back cuticles. And then I've got some nail stencils. And these, there's this set here, they're kind of fun. And then this one here is a pink set. And then I have the, um, Color Workshop Nail Stencil French Manicure Toenail Thingies. I don't really have a clue how these work if you want to know the truth. But they came with a kit that I got. And I just, I figured I'd hang on to them and assume maybe there's a day or sometime in the future where I will learn what their concept is. Although I don't think that's very soon in the future. You have to forgive me because this silly plastic thing is irritating me. And the thing that the toe cuticle thingies go in, it's a little paper envelope and you tuck the tab in and it wouldn't go back in. Let's see. Oh, now tools. I have three, four, four, four different nail clippers. They're just your basic nail clippers. Some are taller, some are shorter. This one has one. This is the other. And then this one. And then I have this one. Now these are straight clippers. They don't have the files in them. So they're just normal. I've got the cuticle scissors. And I have three pairs of them because I like the difference. Um, so I line them all up here. You can see that two of them are about the same size, whereas one's littler. Here's a littler one. And then these two are about the same size. I like to clean them out with peroxide and stuff, so I will take them out and clean them. And then I'll use the other set while they're being cleaned. And then I've got several cuticle pushers, files, tweezers, and just random, that piece of hair is driving me crazy, stuff. So that's all of this here. And these are just your basic cuticle pushers, your shapers, clippers, tweezers, files, and all kinds of stuff. Now, on to the fun part. Nail polish. Now this is going to be kind of a longer video, so I'm just warning you ahead of time. I'm going to start very simply, and I'm just going to take them out and show them to you as I go. I just think that would be much, much simpler and easy. Um, in the meantime, one of the other things that I keep in here are these really neat LA Colors nail polish remover pads, and I have them in... Um, melon and peach and these work really good and I really like them because they don't stink 
some of the nail polish removers with the acetone, they smell really, really bad, and I can't stand it. So the benefit with those is that they don't stink. I've also got up here in the top, and I keep this one separate from my actual nail polishes, is the Nutrinel Bulletproof Strengthening Formula. And this was actually suggested to me by my dermatologist to use on my nails to keep them from breaking. One of the medications that I take causes my nails to have really terrible hangnail-like things. And unfortunately, I don't see any right now. Oh, here, yeah, here they are. So you know what a hangnail is. They're very simple if you look at my thumb here. You can kind of see like a little picked area. And they do that. They come up on the sides of my fingers. Like this one. This was my middle finger a few weeks ago. And like right here up against it, you can still see the little tip. And they hurt and they drive me crazy. So, on to color. Nail polish, colors, etc. So the first two I'm going to talk about... Um, are my crackles. Actually, I have a couple of these. So let me just give them all up. So there's actually four crackles. And I really like the crackle nail polishes. These ones are all from a company called Bonita. This one is the light blue. I've got the cute little crackle lids. I've got the copper. This one is silver, and I, um, here's the silver one, and then the last one I have in the crackle for this company is a uh, fantasy, and this one's actually a pale pink. I've also got several of these, I'm not sure I would call them minis, I guess. You could call them minis. And these are ones that came in either sets that was were given to me or sets that I bought. And so I have a, about a handful of these guys. So I have the basic top coat. I've got the... I don't see a name on this one. Oh, this is the French manicure kit. That's why. Okay. So this is part of the French manicure kit. And it comes with your whites. And your, um, another white. This one's a little brighter. And then your pink. So this is my French manicure set that I bought. And then I've got this set from California Nails. This one is the... I'm going to call it pink stripes because it doesn't have a name, but the lids have stripes. So if anybody knows, feel free to tell me. I've also got that those in purple and in cotton candy pink, cotton candy and purple. Let's see. Uh, next I have my glitters. And now anybody that knows me knows very well that I... I'm a glitter fanatic. I love glitter. I just love it. Love, 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 love glitter. I cannot stress how much I love it enough. I just completely adore glitter. So I have several glitter polishes. Let me drag them out here for a second. Sorry about that. My screensaver came on. Doesn't like it when I just sit here and talk apparently. So these are my glitters and I have them in several different brands just because I am kind of weird when it comes to nail polish. I'm actually colorblind so it's hard for me to tell certain nail polishes. So I spend a lot of time looking at the labels. This one is by Sinful Colors Professional. This one's called Pinky Glitter number 830. And this one here is a pink glitter, which is really, really pretty. Then I've got the Clean Colors Nail Lacquer. This one is Aurora, and this is a really palish orange pink. It's almost like a coral. And then this one is the Silver Lining, 
And this one is silver, and I don't know if you can see in there very well. Kind of see them. But it's got purple flecks through it, so it's really neat. The next one is my LA Colors. Like I said, I really don't have any sort of plan as to how this goes. And this one is the basic clear crystal. And it's going to look simply glittery crystal. Very nice. Looks really good over lighter colors. This one is by a company named Dusk. It's called Simply Irresistible. And this is the blue. They're kind of knockoff to the Sally Hansen Diamond Strength with the bottle design. And then I have Wet n Wild, your basic silver, and Claire's Mood Color Changing Nail Polish. And this one is called Daring Ditzy. And it's sparkly and it supposedly changes colors from Daring to Ditzy, which is kind of neat. I haven't actually used that one yet, but I will let you know. And then this is the Wet n Wild Basic Silver. So that's really neat too. Now if I show you every one of my nail polishes, we're going to be here all week because I have quite a collection. So what I'm going to do instead is show you a couple at a time and I'm just going to make it really simple and easy to understand and see and I can't think of words today apparently because I have screwed up my wording like three times already. And it's kind of getting on my nerves. <laughs> so the first one I'm going to go over is the Sinful Colors collection. And I've got several of the Sinful Colors, as you've seen. I like the Sinful Colors because every one of them is labeled um, SC on the lid. Oh, there goes them upside down. It is SC on the lid here. So if they're standing this way, I can tell what they are. This one is Aqua. And this is definitely one of my favorites. This is actually the one that I had on my thumb. So it's really pretty. And then I have this one, which is pink. This one's called Professional Pink. And it's really pretty pearlized pink. I've also got the Pure Eyes Collections. I have, I know one for sure. I can't find the other one. I know it's around here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Okay, so these are the pure eyes. This one is the siren, and it's a red. And then this one is purple ice outrageous. And this is a really cool shimmery purple color. I've also got here the Color Workshop, and the Color Workshop ones I actually got as a gift, whoops, and a gift set. So the, those ones are, um, they're a little different than what I would normally buy, to put it lightly. So that leaves these guys here, and this one is... Um, these two are unlabeled also, which really drives me crazy because I hate not knowing names. But so this is the color workshop polish. This one is like a burnt orange. And then this one is your typical satiny black. And it actually looks kind of burgundy red, but it's actually like a really dark red, almost black. So just for show here. Oh. I don't know if that's going to work out. Well, here we go. I'll use this. So just for idea, I'm going to paint this paper towel here. So this is what it looks like. And to me, it's like a black. So I'm not sure why it looks red. There's no red in it at all. Okay, next we have... Oh, here's the other Pure Ice I couldn't find. This one is Pure Ice Platinum. And this is the white here. Um, with most nail polishes, if you don't turn them or shake them up, they have tendency to dry a little better or dry out really bad than most other ones. So I 
clean this one and I shake this one out because it's got actually a little bitty silver bead in it. And I'm not sure if you can see those there, but it's got a silver beads which shake the color for me. Okay, I've also got this one here. This is Raspberry Truffle. And I love, love, love this color. And it's actually from the um, Beauty Control Collection. And I had a friend that was selling it and she's not anymore. So, but this one is the Raspberry Truffle. And like I said, this one is one of my very favorites. I think I'm gonna go with this color today, actually. And then this one is another beauty control, and this one is called Chocolate Truffle. And I hate they they name makeup over food products because they always make me hungry when I'm sitting here looking at makeup. I've also got some of the clean colors, and the clean colors are very simple. They've all got the indented lid type of lid and the same color or same shaped bottle this one is the frappuccino this one is pearl pink and then this one is the pearl jungle and I bought these on clearance at Albertsons for a dollar so apparently Albertsons is clearing them out Next I have my Sally Hansen Diamond Strength Must Have Iris and I've actually done a review on this one but I'm going to end up redoing the, my nails and trying it again. This is what they look like now but I haven't been able to redo them. Okay I've also got 2012's which is the name of the company. It's Makeup by Chera Moya. This one is also a crackle nail polish. It's called Virgin, go figure. But this is the crackle here. And it's actually a really pretty color, but I don't like the crackle about it. When I went to try it before, it um, it looked a lot like white out. Like if I had put like white out on my nails. So I wasn't going to do that. Let's see, next we have L'Oreal, and, oh here, oh that's it, I already gave you that one. So next we have the L'Oreal, and the L'Oreal ones are really one of my favorites because they've had L'Oreal for many, many, many years, so they're a good color to stand by. This one is one of my favorite shades, it's called Le Sangre, or Le Sanger, I'm not real sure how you say it. It's probably something Spanish-y fancy that I should know and I don't. But this is a really pretty color. And it actually reminds me of the Beauty Control Raspberry Truffle. So just to give you an idea, this is them side by side. This one is the... Who are you? This is a L'Oreal. And this one is the Beauty Control. So give you an idea they're about the same shade this one is definitely a little lighter and then I've got Rimmel and I only have one Rimmel it was actually given to me and I've never used it this one's called Purple Rain and it's in a collection called Lasting Finish Pro I'm actually going to give this one away so if you guys are interested in free nail polish, leave a comment below, and I will be giving this one away. And that just leaves my beautifuls. These are my Avon's Nailwear Pro Collection. This one is Rave. And I have my Smudge Corrector, which is actually similar to my um, Polish Corrector Stick. Let's see, and that just leaves these random ones here. And these ones are, these are Color Workshop, and they are the pink and red. This one is Petite's Raspberry Rush. And then I have this one, Confetti White Nights. And this one's kind of weird, but 
it's starting to turn a little bit yellow and I'm not sure I like that. And then this one here is the LA Colors Color Craze. This one does not have a name either. Um, it's a really pretty pink color, again from the dollar store. And then the last three are my unsureties. They're, these two are by New York Color. This one is Glitzy Grape Glitter. And this one is Scandalous Blue. But these ones I don't really know about because I don't know if you can see in there. But there's like a big bubble. And like no matter how many times you shake it, it is still there. The pink one does the exact same thing. And it's not missing polish, it's actually just watery. It is really runny looking. So let's see. Maybe I'll see very good here either, but so if you kind of see there, you can see the how runny this really is. And then last but not least, as I saved the best for last, is the Kiss Nail Art Paint. This one is hot pink and they call it bikini pink. And it looks like this. But the thing that I love about this is, is that if I go and I take these silly little stencils here. Ow, the box just hit me. And I can use this to paint these and it works much better than just polishing the stencil. So that's my nail polish collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, if you want to win um, some free nail polish and some nail sets, I'll, I'll even go buy some new ones just for fun. So you can have those too. Leave some information down in the comments and I'll be more than happy to put you in the random drawing. I will be going through random.com to pick the winner, but I will definitely be giving this away in the next few weeks or so. So thank you for listening. You guys have a great day. And enjoy the rest of your week and happy polishing.